there is a price crisis in the coffee sector now. It happens every 10 years. We are working together collaboratively with a declaration in order to start pursuing long-term strategies as well as medium-term actions and also short-term tactics, how to address this crisis. It was very important for Nestlé that would be, we would be represented here today. Uh, you know, the uh, situation of coffee farmers has always been very important to Nestlé from the start, from the creation of Nescafe. And we have very strong sustainability program being with the Nescafe plan for Nescafe and the AAA program from, for Nespresso. So it's key to us to contribute to uh, that debate on how can we uh, really get out of the current crisis. From a Starbucks point of view, uh, we're doing what we can to support coffee farmers. Um, but I do think there's a level of urgency that the industry needs to come together, collaborate in new ways, uh, partner, um, and really put the farmer at the focus of everything we do. Clearly we're at a very challenging moment within the industry and I think that the answer really lies in diversifying sourcing and the industry here needs to make a very committed effort to diversifying sourcing from a number of countries other than the cheapest countries and that's going to go a long way in creating natural demand for all of these coffees and get us out of the cyclical problem that we're in at the moment. We in Colombia, we've been proposing that all the links of the chain should gather together to work as a one unit and to present ourselves as the only solution for a problem in the coffee, in the, in the world community, which is the sustainability. So be truly sustainable in the three senses of the, in the three dimensions, the environmental, the social, but also the economic dimension. Then to be able to tell consumers and customers of coffee that we are the only one and the first one that has made that move. In my opinion, we are on the right path because in the last uh, few decades, coffee has undergone a substantial decommoditization, which uh, led to better premiums paid by consumers to growers as well, better services to coffee plantations, more investment and um, direct trading for premium pay. There are plenty of these positive fallout by the commoditization. I am so grateful for the event today and the ICO and what they're convening, bringing us all together. Uh, this is our moment. This is our moment for coffee to make greatness. Only $350 million per year are invested in coffee plantation for sustainability causes. We need one billion. And there is plenty of institutional money around and also impact investment, which can be mobilized if only we would help growers to access the necessary collaterals to ensure the possible credit default risk. One investment in a coffee plantation has three at least the three paybacks for the grower. One, it improves productivity. Two, it improves quality and quality premiums. Three, it also de-risks coffee production from climate change. The importance that's why we are here today is that beyond the individual initiatives that are taken and beyond the participation that we have in the uh, sector association being the Global Coffee Platform or the Sustainable Coffee Challenge or a, a number of others, we really believe that we need some coordinated uh, work together so that hopefully we can help resolve that situation and find new ways to uh, uh, improve the situation. The market has been low, low price since three years ago and uh, producers are not getting what they are investing. So we are in a very critical area. Uh, we represent more than 25 million bags. That's 25% of all the Arabica co coffee produced in the world. Uh, my mission here with all my team from all Central America is to try to negotiate with the buyers and try to get a fair price for our coffee.